Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're into exclusive messages or readings for Virgo, then be sure to click that join button, okay? So let's see what's going on here. What is it that you might need to know currently at this time? Okay, so we have the Magician, the Temperance, and the Six of Swords is what I'm seeing here. Damn, we have a lot going on. We got the Three of Cups to the Devil. Damn. So Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have Taurus here. So there's a group of people or this may resonate, resonate for a group of people. Okay, the Nine of Swords is in the middle of the deck in reverse to the Hermit. So somebody here... Um, maybe trying to escape from something or leave something behind because there's negligence there's avoidance somebody is not trying to come to a reality about something somebody's name is nadia okay we have trickery Illu illumination illusion Yeah, somebody here is trying to trick a person before they even get the opportunity to be found out. Somebody is hiding behind third-party situations. Somebody here has a toxic toxicity, a codependency on, or is using their shadow energy to influence friends or go places where they can um, blend in to a crowd to do toxic things. Somebody here does toxic things to themselves or people that are easily influenced, whether this be your friend, stranger, or whatever this is. I'm telling you here, let's see. Let's clarify this. What's this magician? What are you being tricked into? Okay. What is this? The Four of Swords. Somebody wants you to have a challenge in making decisions, um, taking a longer time to, to do this. Yes, yeah, somebody's trying to stagnate you from making a decision or hindering you from going somewhere, doing something, traveling, moving around or whatever this is because it looks like you've reached the stage of the last the last number the number 10 okay 410 could be significant as well as 44 okay somebody's life path number could be two here fire and cancerian energy seem to be significant when it comes to this somebody wants your intuitive energies to be cut down so that you won't know what's coming for you. They want it to be unexpected, or this could be vice versa. You could be doing this for somebody else. Okay, what's the Six of Swords? You're leaving something behind. Whatever trickery or someone trying to cause malfunction in your life, you're wanting to leave this behind, but there's unresolved um, issues, feelings, or connections. To a person that you work with that you make money for or or that supplies you with something there's something about work effort dedicated effort or something like that we have the queen of swords five of cups hmm so there is a bold woman that really doesn't care too much about a person's feelings that could be dismissing someone or somebody is dismissing you. Somebody wants you to walk away from a situation or somebody is being forced to do so, even if that means they don't want to. Somebody is being forced into walking away from something. Or somebody is leading a person that wants to come towards you to walk away from you because they see that there's effort or something like that that somebody wants to put into this. Whoever this is that you have unresolved matters with. What's this three of cups? This could be like uh, you spending time with friends, you know, hanging out, going somewhere. Um, you could be sharing your, your feelings with somebody, confiding in them. 
somebody here could be like a, a best friend or close friend to you we have the sun card somebody is ta speaking on how unhappy they are okay that something didn't work out the queen of cups somebody's in their feelings about this this is a female energy or somebody that's actually female somebody feels like they were wronged through a a a mature or nurturing energy somebody that has children you could be the the mother to a person's child okay somebody feels like um a person went and slept with another individual to hurt you or whatever this is or thought that this would be the the isolated solution for y'all to just do your own thing but it ended up hurting somebody so much more tell me more about the sun to the six of wands somebody is unachieved unhappy um lacks victory and feels like they're just dreading everything but i feel like there's a secret that's being kept or something is being hindered to block somebody somebody is blocking someone with allowing their emotions to be out of whack this is the spell that somebody did this is the trick is to use emotions to manipulate people Okay, we have another magician here. So there are there are people that are using their magic for, for bad. Okay, or going to a person to have this done. Yeah, because they see some type of potential stability structure or support in your life here. What's this devil? What's the devil here? Capricorn energy. Somebody could be seeing the number 616, 313. We also have 21 and 465. We have the Knight of Swords. So it looks like somebody is definitely very angry. This is somebody that's aggressive. This is someone that will um, disrespect you, talk over you, not want you to speak or whatever this is. Somebody here wants to make a point and they, they're going to do this slowly. Okay, they want it to be as slow and painful as possible. Okay, 2121 could be your angel number. Okay, tell me more about this. these two knights. There's two men, and um, one is positive, one is more on the, the aggressive side. Why is this knight of swords in the reverse? He's, he's mad over what a, a female could be saying. Yeah, it's something she's saying. Somebody was right. There's a queen of cups that was right about something or somebody's ready to expose the truth or bring clarity to a situation. We have the knight of pentacles. Okay, this is in the upright. So clarifying the knight of pentacles, we have the queen of wands to the king of wands. So there is a coupling. I feel like what's coming together is some type of coupling because the king and queen are here. Okay, these are two very, very um, beautiful, intelligent, uh, grounded people. Okay, this is somebody that's that both matches each other's fly. We have princess of cups here. So there's some type of good conversation or connection between the two that somebody is trying to make sure that doesn't carry any strength. But I feel like you're standing up to somebody when it comes to this here. Let's see. Message for Virgo. I'm going to pull four of these. Money is coming to you. Somebody is trying to make sure that whatever is coming to you or that what you will have abundance of, they're trying to stop it or manipulate the energies for you not to feel like you deserve it or that um, whatever this is. Look, dragon. Beware of self-delusion. Somebody's trying to have you in this delusional state, okay, for you to feel like you are you already have enough that you don't need anymore or that you might ask for more or feel like whatever is being given is not enough so that you will be in a space of greed, okay? And if we know anything about God, God tells us to be um, responsible for showing um, love and dedication to what spirit gives us, okay? So there are compliments from an admirer. Somebody here is admiring you. They could be sending you some type of information or giving you a package or a letter. Or maybe there's somebody here that's a courier that may take a liking to you. This is somebody that's on your route every single day. 
okay? Somebody here might even feel distracted when they come around you to deliver packages or, or whatever this is here, okay? Period. What's the message here? We have someone is going out of your life or there's the end of a situation, okay? This could be a friend or somebody that you were close to at one point. Or this could be somebody that's dying. This could be a friend here. Look, we have that. Somebody's going out of your life because you have people behind the scenes that are working against you to pull you apart from people. Okay? Somebody's trying to disconnect you from the people that you are friends with. Yeah, because you have some type of pleasure with a close friend. Somebody here is envious of the connections that you have. I just did a reading for the collectives about this. Somebody here is trying to control your friend group or for you to have little to no um, connections with the outside world. I just did a reading on that. Okay, so we have another group of cards here. We have Jug for this devil. Lighthearted, carefree time. Somebody feels like you spend too much time outside of the home and not um, putting, pouring into your, your spouse, your your relationship or something like that. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. I feel like the younger you are, you like to do things that create a, um, an energy of fun, lighthearted energy, and somebody's mad. Okay, chain of events will affect your life. Somebody's trying to uh, cause some type of shakeup. Okay, hidden secrets can harm you. So somebody's hiding a secret or something like that. Remember we saw the, the high priestess? I feel like it has to do with a couple, a king of wands and a queen of wands. I feel like there's some sort of like connection to a person that somebody's hiding here or that they know about. Yeah, it has something to do with an older woman. Okay, period. Let's see. What's the message? Message for Virgo. There's something about liquid form or formation. There could be like fluidity or something something that you're that you're taking. Yeah, it could be your energy here. You're calm. Okay, I feel like somebody is meditating or praying right now. Okay. Okay, there's a lack of stability, harmony, or acceptance. I told you, somebody here is trying to make it to where whatever it is that you are in abundance of that you don't feel like you deserve or that you want or that you want more of. Okay? Tell me more about this okay in reverse. We have stubbornness in reverse, number 77. We have family. Okay. So somebody here wants to release being stubborn because it's not it's not bringing them any happiness, okay? I feel like there is a family member or, or a family unit that may want to do something nice for you or you're doing something nice for a person. Somebody here and their family want to want to collaborate, but you you don't know if you could trust this person. Tell me more. Okay, yeah, somebody's trying to give you something that's cursed. I feel like this could be flowers or what they've sprinkled or dabbled into. Somebody here is trying to make sure that they curse something that you will be able to receive. Okay, but it's not, you're not going to be disturbed over what somebody tried to do to you with this stupid ass idea to cause conflict in your life. Okay, the flowers that you're supposed to be given, somebody wants to... Um, Somebody here want, wants to dabble or sprinkle something onto these flowers for you to sniff it and for it to take some type of effect, okay? Somebody here is definitely doing some dark shit to you to cause you catastrophe, misfortune, out of hatred, okay? Somebody here could have a dark, um, a bad dream about a person um, that they're close to that they could be... Um, unalived or they're just walking away i feel like there's some type of lesson within this dream okay somebody could have a dream that they're losing someone that they care about this could be a group of people or just one particular person tell me more about this sweet dream in reverse 
okay somebody here may not be satisfied or comfortable or whatever this is i'm telling you something was supposed to take effect in the dream state be careful of this family unit okay this is a family of four yeah this family member these are karmics okay and they may not even be family but they're they're coming off like they're related this is somebody that is an enemy sent to trap you okay i can't make this up there is a family of four that is using their lover or or someone to trap you okay or somebody that they know or get close to you to be a friend or or whatever this is tell me more okay so we have real estate so there's some sort of wealth investment or, or project that you're working on here somebody can't stop what god is having for you or what you're able to manifest or, or bring into your life i feel like you're going to be restoring or maintaining a connection through friendship with somebody because somebody don't want to be into it with you i feel like something may have been unintentional or maybe you you may have come into somebody's life again when they need your help or support Somebody could have been in a car accident, okay? Since you last seen this person, they could, they could be rehabilitating themselves or whatever this is. Somebody can't stop you from moving or relocating or doing something different. And somebody's mad about it, okay? Period. What's the message here? Okay, somebody is angry. Somebody's angry that you are a mystery. Somebody's angry that you are a mystery or they can't figure you out. Um, that whenever they bring impurities into your energy, you combat that and you, you pray it off or you sleep it off. Somebody's unhappy that you are such a creative person. Like you generate ideas from nowhere. And it makes them angry. Somebody's mad. Let's expose these haters one by one. Expose these haters one by one here. For Virgo. Okay, so we have hating on your body image. Somebody, I was going to say somebody's angry that they're disproportionate. Okay, and here comes the hating on your body image or exercise routine. Somebody's mad that you look good in your clothes. You feel good. It's not only looking good, but you feel good. You're in a good space with your, your guides and yourself. They can't stand to see you shine. I can't make this shit up. I can't. Somebody hates the fact that you're shining and whatever it is that you're doing, it works for you. But what somebody wants to work for them that you're doing, it doesn't because they didn't generate that. They didn't create that from scratch. Okay. They will play victim once they know they're losing. I'm telling you, somebody's losing. Somebody's a loser. That's who they were born as or what they were born as a fucking loser. Okay, anybody that preys on another person to cause them some type of downfall and they haven't done anything to you are a loser and you're just mad that that is your fate here. Okay, period. You don't wish ill on somebody and then think that you're going to reap the benefits of, of gaining something. The only thing you're going to gain is loserism. Okay, we have take a spiritual bath because somebody here, it's like they have some type of corrupt or dark energy. And the more that you're around them, they seem to be bringing you some sort of impurity or whatever this is. Yeah, somebody wants to cause you to miss out or lose an opportunity. They're also trying to make you go through food aversions. Okay, somebody could even unintentionally be sending you evil eye words or actions. Okay, and they don't even realize they're doing this. Let's see here. 
Okay, clearly they want to possess your magic or powers. Recording, somebody is recording uh, you doing readings or um, coming to your door and trying to record things that they could use to uh, uh, destroy you or whatever they think. Somebody's mad they can't figure you out. Somebody is mad. Somebody is mad and intimidated by you, okay? Because you're not emotionally on the same wavelength or level as this person. Yeah, someone is thinking of you, Archangel Mihail. It represents permonition and love, gifts of perception, romance, and love, okay? Somebody here could be using secret phone calls or communication that you are, are talking to somebody and trying to record them or, or write down some type of messages to keep track of, of whatever it is that you're doing. Okay, you have somebody that's really obsessed and nasty. This is a nasty person. Okay, everything about them is fucking nasty. All right. The way they look, the way they talk, the way they make their facial expressions, everything nasty about them. I'm telling you, look, nothing but nasty energy coming from this person. This is somebody that's a false twin that's sending you wit a witchcraft, hexes, negative mindsets for you to exhibit the same energy as them. Yeah, somebody's mad that you released the fuck out of them, that you're letting them go, that you're moving on. So they do some shallow ass shit to keep you stuck, okay? Because they can't get over the memories that they created or shared with you. I feel like you putting up boundaries will be the best thing for you. Yeah, look, you're rejecting somebody and their memories that they have with you and putting up boundaries. That's why somebody mad, okay? What's the message? I'm hearing turn the dial. So there's something about time or timing or something like that we have legal so there has something to do with the legal activity or um, a a falsehood in a lawyer somebody here is really not um, the right person to represent you when they could be passing themselves off like this to develop their career yeah or somebody here does not want you to have a settlement Okay, somebody is somebody here is gonna like be very insincere in the way that they interact with you. Somebody here is very catty. They carry this this nasty high school girl type of energy. Okay. Let's see here. Tell me more. For Virgo. Okay, there's something about landing or how you land something. Okay, I'm telling you in the way that you communicate, there's something about you landing a conversation so that it's like smooth sailing. Okay, because this could benefit your career, where you're going or what's destined for you. I'm also getting that somebody could be attracted to you, but they're, they're hindering themselves. I feel like somebody is paying a person to come towards you so that they can um, be, be petty or thirsty to do something. You are somebody's resource, but they're keeping their involvement hidden, or maybe you need to keep your involvement hidden and um, say less or something like that. Move in silence. We have the 10th and 12th house, okay? We have meetings in reverse. So somebody's not attending some type of meeting or breaking um, some sort of code to something. We have journey. Somebody here doesn't want to travel or they want to go as little to, to no distance to see somebody. Somebody could be in prison. Somebody don't want to meet with a person. I feel like somebody's working on themselves and not wanting to um, reignite some sort of anger towards a masculine Somebody here may be coming towards you with a gift. Just be careful, okay? Because this is supposed to deplete your pockets or not allow you to be a rich woman. This is a fucking trap. Somebody wants to give you something that will annihilate your finances, your career, or whatever this is here. Tell me more. The number 29, 10, and 4 could be significant oh wow okay so somebody here has tempting 
energies, whether physically or whether they know they're supposed to do this or not. Somebody's sorry that they tempted you, okay, into some type of lie that they told you. This is a false twin connection. This could be a friend that you were close to or somebody just wants to be a friend to raise vibrations but only for themselves. Somebody is trying to make something seem like they, they want to do what's best for the both of y'all so that y'all can move forward, but it's the like furthest from the truth. This is the furthest from the truth here. Somebody doesn't love you for real, okay? Somebody does not want the best for you, but they're masking it like it is. What's the message, Holy Spirit Divine? What is it that we need to know currently? Okay, so it looks like there is a lack of chemistry, passion, um, a connection, really. Okay, somebody here is trying to mask themselves as someone that's not a narcissist or using their charm. Or maybe you just really don't care anymore. You you want to enter this new phase, but somebody want to rekindle, transform, or grow, or whatever this is here. Somebody is just addicted to the connection that you allowed them to have because there was no stop to this here. Once you stop messing with somebody, they will learn that you are not one to be effed with. All right, period. something is not divine timing or if there's something that seems off this means that you are not supposed to trust divine timing. somebody's trying to hustle you or work you here because it looks like they've seen a lot of content or something coming from you or there's something that you're included in on the internet and they're trying to gain strength off of this to change their situation or to change your mind okay this is a karmic relationship Let's see here. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so what I'm picking up here is that time has, uh, time's not running out for something. Somebody is still closed off to a soulmate or a soulmate connection because of who they're, um, they were close to or who they dealt with as a third party or them putting you in one. Okay, somebody wants to come together, but they're a false twin. This is somebody you're supposed to um, kind of practice with but not make um, official. This is not your person. This is not your person. And... Until you receive that, you will continue to hear um, insincere apologies from this person so that they can repeat the same karmic cycle over and over and over. Somebody need to learn. There's somebody that's not learning. When the cards fall like this, this just means somebody is not learning from their mistakes. They take a little break from someone and then accept them back for whatever reason. Or this person is... is Gullible. We have eight days. There's a solved case within the next eight days of somebody having a broken mindset. And this is what I'm talking about. Somebody has a broken mindset about someone, a particular situation, or whatever this is. I know it was what I'm talking about. We have teenagers. Somebody here could have the, the mindset of a teenager, or somebody's teenager teenager within the next eight days. A karmic is trying to prey on your you're a teenager or whatever this is. Somebody can't defend themselves and they know this, okay? I feel like because there's a pet that's no longer here that may have been intuitive to know exactly the energies that are trying to inflict you or your children, they feel like you guys have no no way to, to, to see what's going on. You, you might have had a pet that was very intuitive and could pick up on certain energies and they feel like because your children are tapped into their gifts that you can't feel what the fuck be going on. What's the message here? What is it that we need to know? We have outside. So the, you can have a cousin that may be coming to see you or getting you to travel outside of the country so that you will be robbed. 
okay? Somebody here could not take advantage of you, okay? Keep your circle small is what spirit is saying. Anybody that's calling you outside to go somewhere or to relocate or to travel outside the country, don't do it, okay? Somebody's trying to get you trapped up over some money or to get you out of the way to receive something. And it's not their fate to even get this, okay? Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.